What is memory? Memory is the ability to store and retrieve knowledge over time. Knowledge can be our personal experiences, like people we've been with, with and places we've gone to. It can be factual knowledge, 2 plus 2 equals 4, or Paris is the capital of France. Or it can be kinds of skills that we acquire through practice. Memory is thought to be composed of three successive stages. First stage is encoding, the moment of learning as we see or hear or think of something information gets into our brain. Second, storage, the retention of that encoded information over time. And third, retrieval, where we reach into storage to bring to mind useful information that has been encoded and stored. The formation of memory is both powerful and selective. Through memory, we know our own name, where we live, who is in our family, all of our knowledge from school and everyday life. But we also forget a lot. Think about your day exactly a year ago. Unless it was a very specific day like your birthday, you probably have very few specific memories from that day. The study of memory tries to understand both how we can remember things and why we forget so many things as well. Memories have three kinds of storage that have markedly different lifespans. They vary by the amount of time over which a memory is retained. Sensory memory holds sensory information for a fraction of a second. Short-term memory holds information for more than a second, but less than a minute. Long-term memory holds information for hours, days, weeks, or years. To give yourself an intuitive sense of these three kinds of memory, imagine you're walking down a busy street to get to an appointment on time. As you walk along, you see people and objects, and you glance at them briefly to make sure you don't walk into them. But you forget each person or object immediately. That would be sensory memory. Then let's say you come to a corner and you look at a traffic light to make sure it is safe to cross. You see it's a red light, so you remember that it's a red light as you start to cross the street and make sure that the cars are stopping. That would be short-term memory, because within a minute you will forget about that light. But knowing that you have the appointment and where and when you have to go is long-term memory, because those memories must persist over many minutes or hours. <laughs>